to show myself. Just make I mean focus. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I know that's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Find me here, no lavish, beautiful landscape behind me. Um this is my man cave. This is pretty much where I've been spending most of my time the last two to three weeks. Um I've been working from home. Uh, my works laptop, my monitor, my regular laptop, and this is where it's all been happening. Um, it's just that I'd wear the hat. One to continue the tradition of all my vlogs where I wear hats, and also just to remind you all that I am from Yorkshire. Sidney. Sidney is Yorkshire, not Lancashire. Anyway, um, how are you getting on? How are you finding it? It's hard, isn't it? It's difficult. I'm about to show you a short clip of what I've been doing. Uh, I've been ticking my daily um, one piece of exercise per day, my daily walk, which I've been doing for what, the last five years. And I tell you what, it's quite interesting to see what you can find under different circumstances. Um, I've been able to take my camera out and stop every now and then to take some quick photos. Uh, and this is all about snap happy photos. I'll go into a bit of detail in a, a moment. I'm just looking at Lightroom and we'll go through these images. Basically it spans over a three day period. First couple of days, some lovely early morning sunshine. All shot at sunrise, by the way. And the latter day was very overclouded, but with a faint hint of mist. Right, without further ado, here's a very short video clip, and I'll come back. Hi right, everyone, how are we getting on? This is a typical, isn't it? It's been nice all week. Thought I'd come out to do a little bit of filming, and it's snowing, and it's windy. Some things don't change so just a, a little bit of a catch-up really just to update you what I've been doing um, I'm currently on my one a day exercise walk uh, and in that walk I've been taking my Canon M50 out with me which uh, which I'm currently using to film it um, I bought this camera purely for video but I thought why not take it out do a bit of stills photography whilst I can. Now in the spirit of things all I'm doing is using um, handheld, no tripod, no big tripod, the gits on, the Canon 5D currently tucked away my man cave waiting for better times. Um, i tell you what, it's an interesting little place this. It's about a one to two mile walk. I think I mentioned about three to four mile walk in my last vlog. No, it's not that far. Um, so yeah, purely walking from my home, no car involved. Um, again, keeping the spirit of things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting place. Lots of different shaped trees, um, some wheat fields as well. It's, um, I mean, using the tractor lines as leading lines. Not a lot of thought going into compositions. You know, I'll show you these in a moment. All I've been doing is, if I've seen something catch my eye, I'm just raising my camera and clicking away. A bit intuitive, really. Um, not my usual approach, but I like to take my time fine-tuning them. So, yeah, um, handheld. Uh, I'm sticking it on Aperture prior to AV, away from manual mode. I mean choosing a large aperture of 2.8, not something you usually find when you're doing landscape photography. Um, one of the reasons for that, I'm making use of my new lens. Before all the excitement began, I purchased a M lens, a 22mm f2. Um, I just love the shallow depth of field. And all I've been doing, I've just been making sure that it's level, the horizon's level, uh, and I'm focusing on what I want the eye to be drawn into on the composition. A uh, bit of fun, really. And do you know what? It was good fun. I'm enjoying myself. 
very different indeed. Sacrifices have to be made. No big camera, no big tripod, in fact. No. Big tripod, sir. Just thought I'd do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Gotta miss that sound. So, yeah, M50, what a lovely little camera. Completely different outtake or approach to what I normally do. These are shots, and I'll go through these, I'll show you a gallery, where there's no perfection. And what I mean by that, you'll see images where there's things like telegraph poles, telegraph wires, uh, popping into the scene. So it's almost like street photography in a sense. A lot of them are documented or documentary types of shots, but I got lucky with the light. And I'm also fortunate that this walk, in this walk, there's some quite interesting compositions to be had. I think what I'll do going forward, I think I'll fine tune them as time goes along. But Quick fire shots, snap happy. Regards to editing, very minimal editing. The biggest tool I had, however, was the crop tool and that's where I could perfect it as much as I can. Right, okay, so let's have a quick look at what I managed to shoot after week one of lockdown. Remember, this is over three days. So I'll show the gallery, accompanied by some beautiful music, and then we'll uh, take a look at Lightroom in a bit more detail at a few of those. I'm sure you quite agree, some nice compositions there. Remember this is like street style, no time to um, perfect my compositions like I, I usually do. This is quick fire handheld shots. Um, in editing, as I said before, making good use of the crop tool. Use a variety really, um, 4x3, 5x4, 2x3, um, 1x1 as well. So let's have a quick look at Lightroom. So look at this photograph here for instance. There's a story somewhere here. I mean a tin can there discarded by some idiot can tell a story. The gate here, rusty gate, which is neither use or ornament. That leads you onto the nice landscape beyond there. I look at the telegraph wires, but in a way it acts as a frame. But in the past I would never 
thought I'd taken that. Um, this here's, I like this one, probably my favourite of the lot. This was on the last day. Um, quickly going to develop mode. Crop, as I said before, is quite a, a useful tool. This was the original photo. Look, and you see how I've cropped there four by three. Uh, in terms of processing, I've used a split tone, saturation in the shadows, blue in the shadows, and in the highlights, yellow, and use what I remember, a 29 in the saturation and a 23 in the shadows. And then it's just a small tweak of the tone curve. Shadows minus 26 and darks under expose as well. Um, I've added a um, radial radial filter as well. I do tend to use it a lot in my editing. Underexposed the surrounding areas, creating like a, a vignette, and I've created a highlight in the centre. But I just love how the tractor line just lead onto the um, nicely positioned trees there in the middle yeah there's telephone wires but I don't really care this is what the landscapes all about isn't it really um, earlier on where the light was just wonderful wonderful light see this is a composition here simple similar uh, same trees but all I've done there is I haven't really done much to that to be honest again tone curve that's about it really, nothing much to be done, very, very limited editing. I don't know what I'm going to do next week, no plans, I may, I'll continue this walk, um, I may try and tweak another, or another attempt at some more compositions, lots of opportunities, but this is quick grab photographs. Got to work in spirit of things. Um, it's difficult for us all. I fully understand that, and some are lucky. Some are a lot more lucky than others. I'm lucky in the fact that I'm surrounded by some beautiful landscapes, semi-rural location. Uh, and all I'm doing really, I'm taking along my small camera, no tripod, as I said, no big camera, and I'm um, just take the photos and just continue it. Uh, in terms of tripod I'm currently using my little Manfrotto Pixie. Probably one of the best tripods I've had. So yeah Manfrotto Pixie. There it is. This is it. Just need a bit. Just focus on that. There's a bit of an adjustment there. There's it, that one. There. Just need to find the right tool to screw it in. This is about my third Manfrotto Pixie. Basically because I've lost it, left it behind, forgotten it was there, somewhere in the late district. Um, but yeah, very useful piece of kit. Basically what I do is I stick my Canon G7X, which is my first vlogging camera. This is the Mark II version. So yeah, I do a lot of my B-roll when I'm filming my videos on this, and the Manfrotto Pixie. All good fun. So yeah, I'm adapting to the situation, um, continuing my daily walk, but yeah. Anyway, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it, very, very different, but I also think it's important just to continue posting as much as I can. Take care of yourself, keep smiling, and make sure everyone around you is smiling too. Till next time, bye bye for now.